What's up guys? So if you guys want to know how I went from this mess to this right here, please keep on watching and I hope you guys enjoy this video. So we are going to start off by showing you the hair that I will be using and this is a Femi 28 piece hair which I bought from AliExpress in shade 99J. This is more of a burgundy red shade and I couldn't find any of that shade in my nearest beauty store so I just had to buy this from AliExpress and I'm going to go straight in and I'm going to glue the tracks onto the cap. The cap I am using I believe it is a wig cap if I'm not mistaken. I'll leave everything in the description section below so you guys can check it out and I'm just going to use a glue gun to glue the tracks onto the cap. Um, I just feel like glue guns just a lot more easier and it's just less messier compared to got bonding glue and it lasts a whole lot longer so I definitely prefer using a glue gun and yes that is pretty much it as you guys can see I'm using the longest length because I just feel like it will be a lot more easier for me to cut and style and all of that good stuff so yes that is pretty much it and I prefer to use this cap which makes the style more flat and less bulky basically so I am going to show you guys this closure this is already been pre-bleached and also dyed as well i dyed it into a burgundy red shade to match the 28 piece hair i actually did film this but i uh, didn't put this on i didn't put the clip on this video because i made a bit of a mess and i didn't want to confuse you guys so i just had to skip that part out but the shade that i used it kind of achieved this burgundy red is a copper brown mixed with a mocha together to achieve this color so yes that is pretty much it and i'm also going to use once again my glue gun to achieve this because it's just a whole lot quicker and plus i didn't have any um i didn't have any threads to sew this onto the cap so i just kind of had to work with a glue gun instead and while i was doing this i'm making sure that you know the frontal closure sits as flat as possible and it's okay if there's frontal closure you didn't glue the frontal closure all the way onto the cap especially by the ear area that's totally fine if you know there's a bit of a leftover because we're going to cut that part anyway so it's not that big of a deal so just to fast forward i'm going to continue inserting the rest of the tracks onto the cap and i'm still using the longest length because like i said it's just easier to cut and style to my desired look or length or whatever <laughs> whatever it is and um yeah that is pretty much it and by the way i forgot to mention i actually uh put i actually um applied the um plastic cap onto my foam mannequin head just to you know avoid the foam from being attached to the cap so yes that is pretty much it and yeah i'm gonna leave you guys to watch this part because it's pretty much repetitive so there isn't much to say at this point so when i am done i will get back into the whole cutting and styling and all that good stuff
next up guys i'm going to pluck the frontal closure um just to make it more realistic So on to the cutting and styling, I am going to use my clippers to cut the hair and to style it to my desired length and I will also be using a guard so I make sure that I don't cut too much hair and also I will be using a scissors to cut the bangs or the fringe. So now that it is on my head, I am going to go in and just cut any further if it needs any cutting and I'm going to cut the other side as well, making it a little bit shorter. I can't really explain much in how I cut or style this hair because it's kind of like me playing along and experimenting. So you, get, you guys just going to have to bear with me and just keep on watching. <music>
okay guys so now that is finally on my head i already off camera cut the lace and now i'm just gonna go in and i'm going to use a got to be spray and a glue uh gel just to apply onto my um edges and i'm gonna let it air dry before applying the wig on and then just making sure that it just is nice and firm onto my head and after that i will kind of quickly go back and doing in doing the finishing touches and just kind of like styling or curling my fringe until i achieve the look that i'm going for That is it guys that is pretty much the end of this video hopefully you guys enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up share comment and subscribe and follow me on instagram and i will talk to you guys soon take care stay blessed and see you guys in my next video bye